to. Can you tell me right now who all of them they are? Nope. You don't know which one it is. You don't know which one it is. So what do you do? You witness to everybody you can. You witness to everybody you can. Because you have a testimony of what? Of the miracle working God that has come into your life to save you from the consequences of your sins. And God will do it for them. If he do it, does it for one, he'll do it for another. Amen? Since he's no respecter of persons. Prayer changes things. Amen? Believe God and you'll see the miracle working power of God. Amen? Stand to your feet. Hallelujah. 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 I trust this morning that every single one of you in here this morning has made a true life commitment to Jesus Christ. I hope you have, because if you haven't, I remember hearing a man just this week, and we're closing in just a second, and, it, and this, is, this is not a New York second. <laughs> and he went to hell, and he said, I, there was fear and terror beyond imagination. Fear and terror beyond imagination. His name was John uh, Ramirez. He's written a number of books. And I've been researching him and listening to his videos and, and seeing him and things like that. And he went to hell and he said, I've never known fear like I knew when I went to hell. God dropped him into hell. And the devil was claiming him. But Jesus Christ said, no, he belongs to me. Just like he did the Apostle Paul, just like he's done to you. And the Bible commands us now to leave the things of the world and the sins of the world. Somebody left their crime against their body up here on the floor today and stomped it. Stomped it. These things, you know what? They shorten your life and rob from you. And if you've got any of these things going on in your life, will that keep you out of heaven? No, it just right now makes you smell like hell. Uh, I remember one years ago, and I am concluding with this, and uh, a lady that was worked here at the church and everything, she's passed away and gone on to heaven now, but she had really did have a problem with smoking, and uh, she wanted to be the secretary of the church, and I told her, I said, well, if you're going to be the secretary of the church, you've got to lay those things down. You've got to quit smoking. You're going to be the secretary of the church. Some of you know who she was. And uh, she says, okay, I'll do it. And she did. She did. And about two or three weeks or a month went by. And I think it, I don't remember what it was that she did. She come in one day, she says, you know what? I did not realize I stunk. <laughs> it took a while for all that to get out of her hair. And, and, and I guess she aired out her closet. You open up her closet and she said it hit her like a <laughs> wave. You know, and because it gets all in your clothes and gets in your hair and gets all over you and everything like that. She says, I did not realize, I never knew. I couldn't smell it. I, could, I didn't know. She says, I didn't realize I stunk. And she said, I'm sure glad I laid those things down. Well, they say this is one of the hardest ones to ever lay down. Sure enough. But you can through God's help, can't we? Yes, yes, yes. Because when I committed my life to Christ, I laid mine down. I laid them down. Because I knew it was displeasing to the Lord. Did that mean that was uh, robbed me of my salvation? No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Can a person drink a beer and go to heaven? Sure, yeah, yeah. But, but what, what about your testimony? Think about it, think about it. We live our lives today to please our Lord. Amen? That's what we're to do is live our lives in a way that we please our Lord. To be pleasing unto the one that died for us. So try Try, try. With God's help, we can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. God, say this. God loves me. Yes, he does. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right, grab somebody's hand. Garrett, would you dismiss us, please, brother? Yes, speak up. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's right. Amen. Hug somebody's neck. Hallelujah.